this week we get an amazing package in the post and when I say amazing I truly mean amazing Sarah gets to use that stinky stinky fertilizer that she's been working on for a couple of weeks and both us and all the animals get to taste all the fruits of our labor this year from the garden even though it's been pretty tough having a healthy garden in drought conditions and Sarah found out of a solution to water more efficiently but first I thought this year instead of always chasing my tail or rather the seasons I'm gonna get on it and start getting ready for winter hey guys welcome to our channel so before we get into this week's episodes just a bit of an update on the digger the block the crankshaft and the liners are being worked on as we speak and we're supposed to be able to go to pick them up down in Lisbon this week so another step of the nightmare journey is going to be concluded so then hopefully Alex will be able to put it together and autumn time Ashley will come and put it in the digger hopefully please please work so thankfully we're supposed to be getting some cooler temperatures next week and also maybe some rain which is really really needed but having said that over the summer we tend to leave stuff out all over the place and not obviously worry about things getting wet so I really do have to go around and just start making sure everything is ready for the rains and basically we've been here for four years I always find myself chasing the seasons you know trying to catch up now this year instead of to keep doing what I'm doing now uh, summer autumn and then winter i'm just gonna jump ahead and get ready for winter or most of the things anyway just so i can feel like i've caught up um so yeah i'm gonna leave what i've been doing in the past weeks with the outdoor kitchen just for a week or so and just get everything organized for the winter so then i'm ready and I don't have to worry or run out in the middle of the night when it starts raining unprepared now a few months ago quite a few months ago I think now I built the hay and straw storage out of freshly milled planks out of pine trees I did use them green so I did get a lot of cracking and warping so it's no longer waterproof now I obviously have to fix that because otherwise it's pointless so what I've done I bought a bunch of fiberglass matting and this big tub of paint which is like a plasticized um, roof paint with like fibers so I'm going to give that uh, one coat on top of the fiberglass matting just to fill in those gaps and then two coats 100% without diluting and that should hopefully fix it before I do that though I did find some of this strapping which is left over from the gypsy caravan build so what I'm gonna do is gonna screw two lengths of these from the inside underneath just so it will limit the amount of warping and and stretching you know so I'll do that and then I'll sand it down just so the paint can stick to it because the top I had varnished with marine varnish and don't forget to stick around till the end because I we will put in a bunch of time lapses of the little jobs I'll be doing this week alrighty I think first thing is I need to protect the back of the digger here so I'm just gonna tell Sarah to come and give me a hand so we can put the, the back cover on <laughs>
Molly, while well, you're here, you came back from the walkies. You had fun on the walkies. With Molly and Papa and Maggie. And Susie and, and Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. How's it going? Good. Second coat. That's good. It looked like rain this morning. I was really worried, but it's okay now. Beautiful sky. So second coat is going on 100% not diluted and the third coat as well and then we'll be safe under here very good we hey. can stick a bunch of stuff under yeah now i have another plan to now i'll show you i want to keep it as a surprise how i'm going to finish it Ooh, okay looking very good luke thank you <laughs> okay i'm gonna i'm starving i'm gonna have lunch did you eat yeah i've eaten already okay. eating okay. from the garden again today. yes salad time nice <laughs> After my morning walk, it's time to go and work on the computer, but first, lunch. And I have been enjoying my lunch so much these last couple of days because I've been eating fresh lettuce and tomatoes, green peppers, and even our multicolored carrots. Yum! This is enough for a salad for one. As big as my face. So today for lunch, I have multicolored peppers and multicolored carrots. Molly Dirk said this and he said there's something in here for Molly. <laughs> She's so excited. Move your nose, I'll cut it off for you. Come on, wait. Come on, wait. Sit down. Sit down and wait like a clever girl. <gasps> oh my goodness, Molly. Oh my goodness. Sit down, Molly. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, a bone. Wow. Wait, More no, bones. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Wow! More Whoa. bones! That's it, I'm grown still. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Oh my goodness, he's spoiled. She's too excited. She's oh, good. chicken feet! Oh my goodness, chicken feet! Mmm, <laughs> wow, rabbit ears. You already got your rabbit ears before. Oh, the nice jerky, oh, flamingo. Yummy. Flamingo <laughs> jerky. I think he said he's just going to send one thing for you, Molly. Oh my goodness, you! he loves you. Oh my goodness, he loves you like Look crazy. Look at that sushi strip. That sushi, duck and fish sushi. Oh my goodness, Molly. <laughs> this is for Sarah. Oh wow, this is for Mommy. Let's see. Wow, Molly, look! Look for Molly, look! Noise oh cancelling. Oh, awesome. Wow. Awesome. Thank you, Dirk. <laughs> oh, I goodness, I love books. <laughs> Very, All right. You said you were born? Timber framing. Okay. Earth bag architecture. Bit further down. Hacking the earth ship. Wow. Wait a minute. Earth bag construction. Okay, I've got enough literature. Now you said you're aboard, Luke, because it's hot. Green okay. roof construction, awesome. I didn't know he sent this one. Wow, that's awesome. You're gonna have some, you can choose the one you want. Which book do you want? Not the book. Practical no. self sufficiency. <laughs> oh, sorry. Building with cob. Wow. Earth and floors, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Oh my goodness, they're amazing. They're Hot amazing. mixed lime and traditional mortars. And Earthship Chronicles. <laughs> Alex Leo. He's in Portugal, this guy. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. And Wow, and another one. Creating my green roof. Wow. Wow. Well, well, thank you. Okay, sir. Get reading the lad. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, now it's time for Molly to choose one of her treats. Which one do you want, Molly? Which one? 
At around three o'clock every day, just because it's been so hot and before the heat hits like crazy, I go and check that everyone's okay and I give them an afternoon snack. So the pigs get whatever I have left over from the salad and some other fruit and veg that we buy purposely for them from the shop from the cheap section. And the goats have been getting corn for the last couple of days because they eat the whole plant. We have finished harvesting it. So I'm giving them five or six stalks to share with them every day and they are loving it. Are you not waiting for your snack? <laughs> Hi guys! Come on girls! <laughs> some my leftovers and some yummy fruit! After making the animals happy, it's time to make my nose unhappy because today I'm going to do the smelly, smelly homemade fertilizer that I made. Every time I pass from there, it reminds me that I have to use it. I have my homemade fertilizer over here and I did put a, I did put a cloth over it so bugs don't get in, but it was all for nothing. There's grasshoppers in there and moths and beetles. So I didn't save any lives this time. I did have to keep topping it up with water because it's just so hot here. And it's ready now. Three weeks have passed. It's super smelly and gross, but it's going to be really good for the garden. So now I'm going to take one cup of this and the grasshopper and the butterfly. Okay. I think that's good. If only you could smell it, it is gross. Now I'm going to mix it with a stick. I will also show you the comfrey plant because it, it wasn't so long ago that I took off all the leaves to make this stuff. Look at the leaves. 
It already looks ready to pick again for more fertilizer. So I might make another batch. It's, it's just so easy to do anyway. And if you, if you do want to make homemade fertilizer, but you don't have comfrey and you do have stinging nettle, that is a really good plant to have. Ours grows by the river and you can make the exact same thing. Do, the, do it the same, cut it up, put water and wait. But you can also make stinging nettle soup and Luke's made stinging nettle pesto, which was delicious. So yeah, that's a very good plant to have around. So with everyone fed and the garden tended to, I think now is the right time to mention our sponsor, Skillshare. For those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, well, they are an online learning community for creatives just like you and me where millions of people come together to take that next step on their learning journey. And surprise, surprise, the courses that I'm constantly looking up are about gardening. I have been doing quite a few courses about gardening because there is so much to learn and I know so very little. This year was so much better than last year, but we can get much, much better. And because this year was so darn hot, if anyone knows what Portugal was like this summer, it was crazy hot. Even though we have a really good watering system, it's not good enough because the ground was pretty dry even after a really good watering just because it's just so hot and I found this course which I'm going to recommend now because I really really liked it and this course is called easy gardening with raised beds by sunny green it's not only about building the beds and watering the plants but it gives you also the benefits of gardening but what I liked most about this course because she gave me a really good idea this year was so hard to keep everything watered and keep everything happy and she mentioned this way of watering, which I really liked. It's using an oya. It's an unglazed terracotta vessel. You put it where you need it and you fill it up with water and apparently it gets dispersed to where it's needed. We haven't tried it yet, but it sounds really good. So that's what I want to try next because she says it's perfect for really dry countries and arid countries. So for Portugal, it's perfect. So I found this oya method, which I'm dying to try. And Luke also found this other way with wicking beds. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about, but it sounds really interesting. Anyway, there's a lot of benefits of having your own garden and they go through a few of them in this course. So I would suggest if you're interested in even having a garden for the first time, you should check out this course. If you want to improve a skill that you're not quite good at yet, then I think Skillshare might just be the place for you. So I have put a link in the description below and if you click on that link, not only will you be able to see the course that I recommended, but you will be able to explore the Skillshare library completely free for one whole month. So go on, what are you waiting for? Click on that link. The first 1,000 viewers of Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life will get a whole one month free. I can't tell you how much I've learned from Skillshare courses in the last eight months, because it's been insane with editing and gardening and productivity. Anyway, the list is endless. There's a bunch of courses for you guys to check out. So if there's something you're interested in, go on, click on that link. I can promise you, you'll definitely find something for you in Skillshare. And thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I would also like to thank Andrew and Jan for your super thanks. Thank you very, very much. And also Colette and Dana, thank you for joining our Patreon family. We really appreciate your support. So while I have been eating and feeding the animals and pottering around here and there, Luke has continued um, rainproofing the place. So I will show you a little bit of what he has been doing. And we can't wait to see if the weather forecast is telling us the truth. Four days time, a bunch of rain, we just can't wait. But hopefully not before Luke finishes rainproofing everything. <laughs>